Come on, guys. I'm Amber. I'm Trent. And we have five kids. Some people call us the biggest little family in the world. But you can just call us the Johnstons. Stop. Come on. That's motivation. <laughs> Your breath stinks. <laughs> it smells like freaking truck stop coffee. <laughs> yeah, Lord. We're the Johnstons. We recently bought our dream home, but there's one problem. It's a complete fixer-upper. I'm going to use you. <laughs> That's not my gooser. Yes, it is. <laughs> Living in a remodel and being under construction all the time is very stressful. All we do on Saturday is work on the house. All we do is Sunday is we wake up and we work on the house. Hey, guys. We start waking up. It's been a long time. I mean, we've been here almost a year, and we've pretty much devoted the entire time to working. <sighs> this is fabulous. Right now, while we are sleeping in our bedroom, mm -hmm. all of the kids are sleeping in the living room. We can't open the front door. There's no space in the living room. Typically, I love for everything to be perfect and organized. It drives me crazy because we just have a small pathway to get from the bedrooms to the kitchen, and it's chaos. Don't step on the bed. Get off. Donna, you need to wake up too. I've had to learn to let some things go, but I'm very tired of the beds being out everywhere. It's a pain in the butt. Hello, one. How are you? You hungry? Yeah, you want breakfast? It's like indoor camping. We're just renovating. We're just renovating. So tell me about sleeping out in the living room. Do you love it or do you guys hate it? I love it. I hate sleeping I out in the living room. Hate, I hate sleeping out in the living room. I, it's uh, horrible. I'm okay with sleeping out in the living room for about three days. Then I'm probably ready to get back into my own actual sleeping arrangements. I could sleep in the living room for 3,000 weeks. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put the armoire, angle it here. We can't cover that vent, though. Well, we'll we're going to work around that. We're going to figure out a way. Everybody <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Five kids in the house during renovating and construction is chaos. We have two biological children, Jonah and Elizabeth, and three are adopted, Anna, Emma, and Alex. Oh. Yeah, go. Oh, I forgot. What? There's stuff in it. What? Go ahead. I think you stored that sink in there. We got a freaking sink in here. We're talking about it being hit. Good Lord. There are times that I feel our size might have a disadvantage when it comes to renovating. But really, we don't know it any other way. OK, now, wait. We're, we're stuck in the door. It's not gonna fit. We're doing all the work ourselves as we renovate this house from top to bottom while we're living in it. Oh, 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 Trent. I think in the beginning, we definitely somewhat became overwhelmed. We bit off maybe a little bit more than we could chew. But it saves money. I mean, it, it, it saves money. Okay, we're almost, we're coming down the stairs. Oh, God. They'll break it back. Let me push it. Holy What? Ooh! Dad just hit the H S word. You got a 40 pound sink extra. Wait. I didn't put the sink in there. Somebody forgot to get it out. Yeah. Working on the house has definitely been a lot of stress on us. Is our TV gonna go in here? <laughs> Golly, if it's any good by the time we get it here. Come on. Working full time, raising five kids, renovating the house. There have been times where I've been ready to throw in the towel. <sighs> What do I say? No. No, Slow we didn't down. make the wrong decision. No. And we just have to focus on one thing at a time. And we're going to get through it. They didn't build Rome overnight, and we definitely ain't building this house overnight either. So just what? give me time. You said the SH word. word. No, the HS word. The HS word. 
Anna, come on in here. We need to have a little discussion. For what? We have a dance coming up. Yes. And there's going to be boys. Elizabeth and Anna have their first formal dance coming up at the middle school. And they both are very excited. But it is terrifying to have girls as teenagers. What are y'all talking about? The dance. The one that y'all were talking about last week? Nowadays, when it comes to the girls, it's probably me that worries more than Amber does. Why didn't nobody call me to this meeting? Because we know we're going to say no, because no boys want to get on their hands and knees. I know, so you don't have to worry about it, because we're going to say no. These kids are like nope, five, two, nope, six, and nope. one. I believe it's important to have rules on dating, not just for our girls, but for all teenagers. Our number one rule is they cannot date until they're 16. You guys still have a few more years before you can date. And we've had a little bit, you know, we've saying, had some breaking people the step rules. outside so, their boundaries. Anna broke the rules, and so she had lost her phone indefinitely. I got my electronics taken up because I was texting the guy. She got in big trouble. Because why? Because why? why? Yeah, why? Oh, because I was dating the guy. <gasps> because why? Because why? <laughs> I said dating the guy and texting him. Who was and the guy? Who was yeah. the guy? Come on, tell so us. A, a high schooler. Uh, and quit. Yeah. We know and we have faith and we um, have confidence that you guys will follow the rules at the dance and have a great time. Anna is, is a really good kid. And, you know, I think that maybe we've just hit a time of, you know, she's just confused and, and you know, just trying to trying to fit in. I think that's a big, big part in her life right now. And This is a hard age for a teenage girl in middle school, but this is a mom and dad that's gonna help her find get the right through. way and get through. I don't have any problem with you girls dancing. Now there's boundaries when it comes to dancing with other boys. <laughs> We just want you to be Y'all know what the balloon dance is? You put a balloon between. between. Like you need you to have like, that much space. Right. And they have the old saying, like, uh, a balloon distance apart, where you can fit a balloon between him and her. Instead of balloon, I'd say the moon, you know, way far apart. If you ever have an average-sized guy, you could do like this. Now, look, this is no joke. I'm serious. Watch. It works. <laughs> See? This is not a joke. If you girls want to go to this I'm dance, sorry. you're going to listen to my rules. Look, you can do like this. You can do like... See, it'll work just like this, holding. Honestly, I can be laugh. I'm serious. Who this wants to go to dance? We're, we're serious. I know. There is an advantage for little people. We have short arms. Short arms bring you closer together. That was cool back in the day, but it's not cool this day, so... I wish there was a little people at our school. Y'all can always dance with each other. No. No. <laughs> no. Mom and Daddy used to dance like Johnny and Baby. You don't even know who Johnny and Baby is. Nope. No. But it's probably some very embarrassing Dirty, dirty it's a, dancing. It's a movie called Dirty, dirty dancing. dancing. Patrick Swayze and... Oh, uh, yeah. That, I got that, but we don't want to recreate the little person That's version. Sorry. If Amber and I could chaperone the dance and show off some of our uh, Johnny and Baby skills, I would definitely be there. <laughs> Handing out balloons. <laughs> Remember where you, they run across and jump into your arms? Yes, but I that was do, like I bet we can still do it. that was like 20 years ago, Try and it. we are now 25 pounds heavier. I'm not 25 pounds heavier. Um, I'm about 35. Yeah, exactly. So am I jumping to you? Or you gonna jump to me? I don't know. Try it. Get over here, Trent. Nobody's watching. Go. Right. What? What is gonna happen though if you don't like catch me the right way? Then I guess that means you'll fall on me and squish me. Yeah, in my back. Go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hurry up, get up. <laughs> or the shit. I think your tooth hit my forehead. <laughs> Mama's grill hit me in the head. <laughs> Grab one of those uh, black two by four frames right there. 
I didn't call you up here. Will you and Alex go downstairs and finish playing outside, and we'll talk to the two big girls okay. a little bit. Please. I was working on some projects up in my tool room, and I thought this would be a great time to have a little chit-chat about the dance and possibly swing in the birds and the bees a little bit, bring that up, you know. I thought we were just working. Not talking we are. We're going to put these chairs together. But uh, daddy-daughter chance to talk when nobody's around. I was scared talk. of what we were going to talk about. Mm -hmm. okay. This middle school dance coming up. Mm -hmm. Are you guys like gonna go and dance as a group or is everybody going individually? Dancing as a group. Like I guess all girl groups or boys and girls? Most girls just dance as a group. There's not, uh, there's barely gonna be any slow dance music. You don't. Wait. What? I have like guy friends, like we're all hanging out. We're hanging out. I know you have guy friends, both of y'all do. That's what I'm talking about. Well, none of them are I guess, go. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, I don't, I guess I'm just reminding you, we're just, you know, making sure one on one that we're all on the same page with this dance. You know what I mean? I'm just basically looking forward to hanging out with my friends and meeting people, meeting new people. I'm not really looking forward to dancing Me too. with guys. Just, I might just dance with a group of my friends, but not with guys. Like, I want to hang out with guys, but I'm not going to dance with them. What about the birds and the bees since we're all up here talking, just, just the three of us, you guys know? Y'all gonna have the birds and the bees talk with daddy? Springtime's coming around, the bees are gonna start flying around everything else and the birds and I didn't know if you guys had studied that yet in school. We're not allowed to say what uh, birds and bees mean, but just I already know what it means. Just say we it. can't say it or else we're gonna get in trouble because he's probably out here somewhere. No, he's not. Just say it. I don't want to say it. Just say it. <laughs> Why do you want me to say it? Because I'm, I'm not getting trouble. Because I, I'm like 95% I know what it is, but then the 5% I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying so it. So you got to say it because I, I might get it wrong. Trouble. If I say it, he's going to pop out of nowhere. No, he's not. Just say it. No. <laughs> we'll, we'll say it. it's my fault. Hey, I'll just say it. I'll get Emma to like I'll whisper it in Emma's ear and then she'll say it out loud. So, Emma, come here. Come here. Come here, Emma. Birds and bees who got the system. Okay, ready? Go. What? Say, <laughs> say, say, really say. Birds and bees needs the reproductive system. Go. Go. How's or, that? No, you can say birds and bees who need to make babies. Go. Wait, <laughs> how's that? Wait, look, I don't understand look. it. Birds and bees mm -hmm. make babies. No, not my <laughs> 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 I broke my bit. <laughs> I was derailed and it so it didn't work out like I was planning on it. So just say I just, you totally wimped out and you need me to do it. Uh I need you to do it. Amber's gonna take over. I tried. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alex, stop it. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. What? Hey, I'm gonna send some of this paint stuff down. If you would, go ahead and take it into your room. Okay. The next big project for our house is the kids' bedrooms. Before this gets painted, this needs sanding. 
Yeah. Again? Not much, just a little bit. It's very important to us to do it completely ourselves for a couple reasons. Financially, it costs us a whole lot less, as well as... Self-pride. Self-pride, you know, being able to say that we did do it ourselves. <laughs> this is your guys' room, so I need your help. We're going to finish sanding these walls, prepping these walls. We're going to paint. We chose uh, the same color for both rooms. Um, Amber and chose. Amber and the kids, we all agreed. You, yeah, didn't Wasn't have Wasn't there. You had it your way. Everything would be khaki. Our whole house would be khaki. It would not be khaki. It would be... Tan. Neutral and Taupe. Earth. Whatever you want to call neutral it. Neutral and it earth tones. Khaki. Oh my God. Of course, in my frugal ways, it would be cheaper to buy a five gallon bucket of one color and be able to do both rooms. Five gallon upstairs. buckets of paint for a four foot man to pick up and shake is perfect. Okay, so. Where's Alex in all this? Alex! Alex, he's the baby. He pretty much runs the house. Please be quiet, please. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Alex, hey, Alex, you need to be in there helping. Working. Well, I'm the king. I can do whatever I want. He does not run the house. He just gets his way. No, he pretty much runs the house. Where you been? Uh, doing nothing. I'm the king of the house because I can boss everybody around, and they are not my servants. You, 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 you are not my servants. You mean they are your servants? No, they aren't. Uh, what? what? Alex, do you know what servants they... are? Yes. What is it? People that do stuff for you. That's what we do. So you're saying that we that's are what we do. your servants. That's what we do. We if we're not, then we don't get anything for you. you we don't help do you with anything. Hey, we are. You are not the ser you are not my we servants. Look at these distance! Yeah, I don't take good. Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna. What? Look, we don't <laughs> I gave everybody simple instructions. Turn around, look at me. This, this far out. Painting with the kids. Elizabeth. I would say, yeah, it does cause me a little more stress. Oops. Um, a little. But it's, it's me. I, I, I want it to be just right. You want it to be perfect. Just say it. You want it to be perfect. And there's nothing wrong with that. Elizabeth. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Elizabeth. All right, when, All right. When are you guys going to let Daddy take over? This, yeah, this roller doesn't doesn't roll. Well, I look, you don't have it on there all the way. She uses it. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. When my dad gets mad, he usually runs his hands through his hair. Oh, man. His patient level is about as short as he is. <laughs> Look, you just got stuff in my hand. Hello? Let me take this little bit over, and you guys go take a lunch break, please. Okay. Yep. Yes. Before Daddy has a nervous breakdown. Shopping. Going dress shopping. Why? Today we are shopping for the girls' formal dresses for their dance. Beautiful Amish dresses at a reasonable price. No, they are not going to be Amish. We have teenagers. We have teenagers, Trent. I take that back. They will be floor buffers, not Amish dresses. Oh, Lord. The girls. Mm -hmm. Susie had to go up to a ton of dresses. That's right. Pink, red, violet, purple. Magneta. <laughs> Magenta. How are y'all doing today? Good. Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good, what can I help you find today? We are looking for formal dress for a middle school dance. Okay. For okay. Anna and Elizabeth. Okay, I... do you guys want short dresses or floor length? Uh, 
Probably short. Probably short, okay. Yes, um, but sure. we can go long and okay. then have it altered. We'll start in short and then we just okay. kind of go from there. Trent and I, as well as the kids, all have a counterplasia dwarfism and it affects our extremities, but not our torso. Right. Always with shopping, alterations is, is most of the time a factor. I'm gonna sit over here and I'll be a judge. Okay, Dad. All right. What am I gonna do then? Could you get me? I like that one. All right. This is my first time dress shopping with the girls. <laughs> it this is should a, be interesting. It should be interesting. I'm very excited, but I'm also a little nervous because my dad, this could get a little bit tricky. Just try to make straps with your hair yeah. for your dad. Yeah, there you there you get you all done in there. There we go. I'll make a deal with you. When you get to middle school, you stay home. I don't have to buy your dress, and I'll give you $50. It's a suit. No way. For real? For real. It's not bad. It looks like the bottom blew up. That's what it's supposed to look like. What do you think? Hmm. I don't really like that one. I don't really like no. that one, too. Next. 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 Hey, girl. Hi. Do you, you like it? I like it. One to ten. About a seven. Yes. I think it's adorable. Take a picture, good. I like that one. Hey. 150. For two of them. For no. two of no, them? No, you said 150 for each. Look at Judge. Shh, we're talking about prices now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, but... I'm the banker. I'm the Judge. In actuality, I know that we're going to have to spend somewhere between 100 and $150. For a two piece. dresses. No, a piece. Um, That's more like a dress up dress, too. You don't feel like you're squishing in that one. No, and plus it has a built-in bra, so. Yeah. I didn't need to know all that. We like it. You do? I like that one the most. Yeah, but you're probably not going to like the price. How much is it? 170 And how long is this dance? Like two hours. It's $150 for two hours. I know, dear. One time. I know. $75 an hour. But it's it's... The event. What about you, John? Do you like the second one? I don't care. <laughs> I don't get why you are going if you're buying dresses. We're buying dresses? Yeah, it's called just, dance. just to hang out with friends. Just no, And we're going to dance, it's, too. It's you're going to dance about 5% out of the 100% of the time. OK, I really like this one. They're doing another one? I like that one. Do you like that one? Mm-hmm. And the fabulous part of this is it's 50% off. Let's wrap this up. Anna looked good in her dress that she picked out today. I'm I glad do agree to Alex that. Anna, <laughs> can you be quiet? I'm sorry. Be quiet. Hey, don't push me. Okay, stop. Anna looked very good in her dress. The only thing I was concerned about is that she would be comfortable. I, okay, I love, I loved your dress. I wouldn't wear it, but I like the color. But I don't, don't like it. I don't know. I don't like it. Like, it looked cute on the mannequin, but. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, this is all the way. Keys. There we go. Trent. What? We need to go. The assistant principal at the school just called and Anna's in some sort of trouble. Who did? The assistant principal at the school just called. Anna's in trouble for something, I don't know. And uh, I told him we'd be up there. He asked for both of us to be up there. I told him we'd be up there in about 20 minutes, what 15, did he say? 20 minutes. So let's, I am not sure what happened. I mean, he didn't say, he just said to He me. didn't say, he just asked that we come up here and meet with him. He needs to talk oh, to us. Oh, good grief.
right, Anna. We got a call today from the principal and Anna admitted to spray painting her name on the side of the school. And another student's name. And another student's name. But now she is saying that she did not do it. However, the school has suspended her from all activities as well as the dance. We have never received a phone call from an administrator, um, ever. It's very disappointing. All right, Dad and I need to talk and discuss what we're gonna do about this. You go ahead and go on into your room and we'll call you when we're ready. Okay. What on earth? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I find it very hard to believe. I mean, do I in my heart think that she would spray paint the side of the school? Um, no, I don't think she did it. But as a parent, I want my child to learn when to remove yourself from those type of situations. That's what, whether she did it or she was out there. She was out there with it. She was it, out there when it happened. Uh, I guess we need to come down hard. I think we've had several emotions because our child's going through this. And I mean, yes, we have to follow through as parents with discipline, but at the same time, this is definitely a situation that we've never faced before and that we're having to learn as we go along. Anna, come out here for me. Let me sit down here. Emma, you need to go ahead and head on out right now. You know, this is a phone call we've never had before. Yes. It makes us sad. It's disappointing. It's disappointing. I didn't do it, and I kept saying that, but I got real scared, and so I had to say something else. I... And so you just admitted to it? Yeah, because I, I didn't want to say. I mean, Whether yes. you did it or not, you were out there. You have to reach a point in your life, Anna, where you know to walk away and to not follow along people. You cannot be a follower. All the time that we spent getting ready for this dance and the money we spent and the excitement that y'all had to get ready to go to this dance, one little incident. Watch One this, mistake. Wash this all away. Because little things add up and they start becoming great big things and we start having great big problems. And it's very important that it stops right here. You have to suffer the consequences at school, you must suffer the consequences at home. You're not able to go to the dance, no makeup, no jewelry, we're taking away all the clothes. You'll have five pairs of pants, five t-shirts, one jacket, and a pair of tennis shoes. We love you, and we're not wanting to take away all this stuff, but we're doing what we need to and what we have to in order to teach you. This kind of behavior is stopping tonight. We're not doing this anymore. It's over. Okay? Yes, ma'am. It wasn't my fault, but I was scared of the chair because she started busting at me and I didn't know what else to say. Are you ready, Elizabeth? Uh -huh. We have a lot going on with Anna right now, but we also have four other children that need our attention. And today is a big day for Elizabeth. 
Today I'm going to become a brace face. Today I'm going to be a brace face. Today I'm going to the orthodontist to get my braces and I'm very excited because I want my teeth to look like they're straight and perfect. That's about the definition of my name. I like everything to be perfect. I'm excited about getting my braces today. Yes, you are. I guess nobody else is excited, but oh well. Are you happy, Anna? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Good stop. Nobody's really happy about this. Not really. I think I should have gotten braces over Elizabeth. But then Elizabeth has some jacked up teeth and she needs some but braces. But she can wait, cause yeah, that is true. Cause I've already, already started. I've already started, yeah. so I need to finish. I've been wanting these ever since my birthday, and then I didn't that's get them for my birthday. Yeah, that's, but... then I didn't get them for my birthday, and then I wanted them for Christmas, and then I didn't get them for Christmas. That's great. Then, okay, you said they sucked and you didn't want them. Yeah, but do I want to finish? Then, yes. But it would I make sense hit. for him to finish before we start a new kid. We got yours first because you were in more need because we had to make sure the other teeth came in. The second phase is just simply straightening everything up. Okay. So why don't we finish me? Because Indeed. Dad and I think that it's important right now to get them on Elizabeth because she's extremely self-conscious about her smile. You tell us all the time, you don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. So a couple months, we will start Anna and we'll go to the oral surgeon to have your teeth extracted and then we will start yours. But we have to space it out because Dad and I can't do three kids all at one time. Being a little person with our type of skeletal dysplasia, it affects our jawline and we clearly do not have enough room in our mouth for the amount of teeth we have. So our future with our children um, is definitely gonna be braces, teeth extractions, apparatuses to allow them to have a beautiful smile. There's a lot of expenses involved, but they face enough challenges in the world being little people that um, a rough smile or jacked up teeth is not something that I want my kids to worry about. What are you gonna go with? I don't know, it's hard. They have lots of choices. See, there's blue and gray, and there's like that silver. Just might get start off with blue, and then I'll go off. No, go do that. Wasn't blue it that coral. right there, yeah. or this one? Should I do like aqua on the top, and then like? Oh, just do what you want. Wanna be quiet? We are going to take a look at your teeth for you today, and then we're going to talk about braces. Braces. What do you think about braces? I'm ready for them. Ready for them. <laughs> I don't like my teeth because they look jacked up and I'm very excited because I will soon have some straight teeth and I'll smile with my teeth in pictures. And let me see your smile. Mm -mm. You don't want to smile? Look at something else real quick too. Do you see that right there? Yeah. That could be an extra tooth. Oh. Really? Mm-hmm. So, you may have a little extra wisdom. Oh, that ain't helping it right now. <laughs> Looking good. Can't stop now. <laughs> You're okay. all braced up. <laughs> we got our braces on. Elizabeth picked um, the bands to for her braces to match her formal dress for the dance. That's how vain she is. It's all got to coordinate because so many people will be looking at her teeth to make sure that they match her dress. And you're going to pick out braces that you're going to wear every day to match a dress that you're going to wear one time. No, those colors change out every six weeks. Yeah. Do you have any questions about how to brush, floss, wax? Anything? I think I got I'm it. I'm sure Joan will be glad to help you out if you do. Very happy and also very excited, but I'm mostly thankful for my parents doing this for me. Nobody's really happy about this. Not really. Well, you gotta run so your back can get used to it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> You don't do that. <laughs> you pay for that. Oh. Set it right there against the door. 
I still against the door. To bump against the door. It. Against the door. I heard you the first time. Well, you still put it on. The I had to move my hand a little bit. We have moved in all the furniture into the kids' rooms. We painted. We've done the trim work, and so. Trent. Hello. We have moved all the furniture and we, uh, oh my God. Trent! Shut up. What? Stop. You can't hear this all the way down. We've moved the furniture in and tonight we want the kids to sleep in their room. Whoa, that was good. You like it? Yes. This is the best! Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. How about Daddy? Thank you, Daddy. Oh, shoot, I didn't do anything. Don't worry about me. Yes, you did. You painted the dust in the wall. Come on, Emma. OK, I'm coming. Knowing how much this means to the kids, especially since some of them have never had their own bed, really makes us proud. And it's all the more reason to keep moving forward with the renovations. Oh, my god. A bed. The feel of heaven in a bed. Sleep good. Hey. Good night, Elizabeth. Okay. Right on it, you not to yell. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta make sure she's here. Oh. Now we're all alone in a living room that's empty with no furniture, a bunch of nasty walls that have to get finished. But hey, it's a fabulous dance floor. That's right. That's right. So, the I kitchen or living room next? Living room. Living room? Living room. Trent. Just take those old <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> what did Daddy say? Daddy said the eight oh my God. word. All right, so you'll get a tow. Yes. And all of your hang-up stuff, your pants, your shoes, okay. needs to be put in the tote. In disciplining Anna, she's got to give up her makeup, her jewelry, her perfume, all of her designer clothing, and then get your dance dress and put that, and it all needs to go in my closet. Lizzie! Hi, Hi girls! Elizabeth. How are you, Elizabeth? How are you guys? Good. How Excited for the dance? Yes, yes ma'am. Tonight is the night of the dance. Unfortunately, Anna is not able to attend because that's part of her punishment. Oh, I'm showing Miss Amber how pretty I look. On one side of our house tonight, we are excited and getting ready for the dance. And this is only going to be a once in a lifetime thing. It is. I mean, this is like the first time she's ever done my makeup. And on the other side of the house tonight, we're disappointed because we can't go to the dance. So you're doing your hair, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Ooh, is this right. your dress, Lizzie? Uh-huh. That is awesome. That's Anna. I like Anna. Anna loved her dress. Now she can't wear it. That's sad. This punishment, I mean, is a lot. But at the same time, the what transpired at school is major. And uh, I'm hoping that maybe every day when we're getting ready for school and we don't have all that neat, fun stuff, we'll be thinking about it. OK. All oh right. my god, there's one You guys ready? Let's go show Dad. Yay! Here we go. Wow, look at you girls. They're beautiful. All right. Beautiful. You girls look very pretty. As a parent, it's very heartbreaking to know that Anna cannot attend her first formal dance, but we still need to make this night special for Elizabeth. All right, remember, balloon dancing. A really big balloon. Keep lots of space between you and the boys. <laughs> well, like, yeah, they actually told us to go like this. <laughs> Do 
to match my milk. <laughs> you guys want to take some pictures? Yeah. Ooh. You guys head to the dance. Is it really that cold? Yeah, it's very cold. All right. Let's take some pictures. Oh, let's go this. One dance down, 400 more to go. So this wasn't a very... This was not the best day. Parenting is the absolute toughest job in the world. I mean, it is. And with having five kids, we have good days and we have bad days. It's, it's incredibly difficult to teach someone how to not be a follower and how to be yourself and how to make the right decisions. And that's just something that we have to continue trying the best we can. This is our house, this is our life. You know, we live in a fixer-upper and I mean, you know, kids are constantly fixer-uppers sometimes, you know, we have to uh, teach them and learning lessons and, you know, but at the end of the day, I mean, we love our kids very much, and we're very proud of them, and we wouldn't change this for the world. Good night. Good night. Hey. Hi. Remember the birds and the beast? Shut up. What? My foot to work. Move your feet. That's not my foot. <laughs> Stop.